Welcome back to ECS Coffee. My name is Rebecca and today we're going to be going through the Breville Oracle. This is a more analog style of the uh, Breville Oracle Touch. If you wanted to see our video on that one, we'll link it down below. This unit is equipped with a half a pound bean hopper up top. It's an 84 ounce reservoir, so it's very, very large. The reservoir can be accessed from the front, so you press this down, you'll be able to fill it from the front, and you can also remove it from the back. Their bean hopper is also removable, just like all of the other Breville machines. This unit has auto dose and auto tamp, and it is a 58 millimeter portafilter. It also has an automatic steaming wand or a manual steaming wand. So this machine does give you the option. It is a pretty stationary wand though. You just basically have one position to steam your milk in. So it is better to be used for the um, auto milk steaming and it does a really great job as well. You don't have any programmed milk beverages with this unit. So you're able to customize those drinks to, it's an endless possibility. You're able to customize the foam level as well as the foam temperature. And since you are able to brew a single or a double shot, you're able to combine that with really, really foamy milk at a really, really high temperature or cooler milk with less foam. So this machine does take about five minutes to heat up, but you are able to power it on at a specific time. If you go into your menu here, you have a ton of customization options. So you're able to set your um, amount for your one cup, which would be your single shot, or your two cup, which would be your double shot. You're able to customize your shot temperature. 195 is pretty standard, but if we wanted to go in and customize, we could go up, we could go down, but again, 195 is pretty standard. Also access your cleaning functions in here, so you'll be able to run through your descale or your uh, clean or flush cycle in here. You can set the time, ours is set, and we can turn on our auto start. So if we wanted it to come on for, say you're an early riser, you're up at 6 a.m. every morning, we can have it come on. Whoop. There we go, on for, let's do 5.45 a.m. So if you're up at 6 a.m., you can have your machine turn on to be ready for you to brew um, when you stumble out of bed. Auto off, ours is set to turn off after an hour. If you wanted it to be a shorter amount of time, you can select that. If you wanted it to be longer, um, you could select that as well. So say you were having some people over for the evening and you didn't want to have to turn your machine on every single time, then set it for up to eight hours. This is your tamping pressure. So you can customize this to perfect your espresso shot, your pre-infusion time as well. So ours is set for about three seconds and your Americano. So you can customize a number of different sizes for the Americano based on your cup sizes. So if you have a few different mug sizes or a few different people in your household that like different sizes or you have cups that need different sizes, you can set all of that. And then when you're brewing under the Americano feature, you'll be able to select which Americano you are using. We'll just exit out of there. So just on the front here, we've got a bunch of different buttons, power, obviously single cup double cup or single shot double shot your hot water which will pour just here it comes out just behind the um, brew head americano uh, that will be to select your foaming temperature and your foaming texture so if we adjust it right now we're going to be adjusting our temperature so all the way up to, I think it goes up to, yeah, 170, which is super duper hot. For somebody that likes an extra hot latte, 170 is a great um, temperature for you. 150 is pretty standard though. If I click this button, I'm going to adjust my foam texture. So the amount of foam that I have. If I'm down on latte, it's going to have, it's going to have less foam. If I'm up at cappuccino, 
and I have lots of foam. And then you got all these options in between. We're going to make a couple different drinks. We'll do an Americano, we'll do just a standard double shot espresso, and we'll also make a latte and a cappuccino to see the difference in the foaming levels. This does a fantastic job of foaming the milk. Um, if you are somebody that wants a kind of a manual machine, but you don't really want to do a lot of the work and you have the space, this is a really great option. I think it's about $1,000 less as well than the um, Breville Oracle Touch. So you're saving a bit of money there. The only thing you're removing is the touch screen, which does make the machine a little more user friendly, but this machine is very simple to use. We also have a uh, heating tray up top. So I've got my mug just sitting up there to keep it nice and warm. It's always nice to warm your mugs up before you brew into them. And uh, my machine's a little far back, so I'm gonna just move it forward. This one, just like the uh, Breville Oracle Touch, you've got this lock. So right now it's not able to move, but it's got wheels. So if I unlock it, I'm able to pull it forward very easily. It is a dual boiler machine, so it's a little bit heavier uh, than some other units, which is also why it's a little bit larger. But a dual boiler is great. It's um, really stable for your temperature, and it means you're also able to brew and steam at the same time. So if you are doing the manual steaming, you're not going to have to wait for your espresso shot to pour and then steam your milk afterwards or vice versa. And if you're doing the auto steaming while your espresso is pouring, you can just steam your milk and then everything's done at once. It's very nice. But let's pull our first shot and uh, we'll do just a, um, a, we'll do a cappuccino first. So pull it all the way over for, to have it to grind. Now it's going to tamp for us as well. Our grind size here is set to 21. Um, we can adjust that, of course, our dial is on the side. So if your espresso is pouring really, really watery, you'll, you're gonna need more resistance. So you'll wanna make the grind size finer. If your espresso is pouring and it's coming out like molasses or it's struggling to come out, it's taking forever, you need more water flowing through there. So you're gonna wanna make the grind size coarser. Got our tamped espresso here, it's so flat. Uh, a machine like this is going to produce you a quality espresso every time. You're gonna have a lot of consistency with it. Just like any espresso machine, if you change your bean, you might have to change your grind size, but um, that's pretty standard. So a mug under the portafilter, I've locked my portafilter into the group head and I'm just going to press my double shot and I'm also going to adjust my milk foam. So I'm gonna go all the way up to cappuccino foam. I'm just going to turn this handle down. Just press it once, you don't have to hold it. Now it's gonna do the rest of the work for me. Our espresso shot is counting by seconds on the screen here. And our espresso is looking like it needs a little bit more water flow through it, but 30 seconds is a decent time for two ounces of espresso. Got a nice crema on there too. You can see that milk foaming up really nicely. So no work involved with the milk foam on this machine. and it produces a beautiful microphone. So this steaming wand will auto purge when you push it back down. So I always recommend to have a cloth handy, a wet cloth. Wipe that down. You don't want the milk sitting on the steaming wand. There we go. Okay. So now we've got our super foamy cappuccino foam done on the Breville Oracle. And we'll pour that into our fresh espresso. You can see it, so foamy. It's like marshmallow foam. 
amazing. And this is going to be to the exact temperature that we set it to um, and the exact foam level as well. So if you are wanting less foam than what we just did, you'll just lower your foam level closer to latte. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, fantastic. Oh, I'm gonna go in and adjust my grind size to make it a little bit um, coarser. But first we gotta remove our espresso puck. Luckily we've got the puck sucker here. This is new from Breville. Um, so it just takes pressure and pops out the uh, espresso puck. That's amazing. I think we did a video on this one too. I think Jack did it and I uh, heard it was quite funny. So we'll drop the link down below so you can check that out. So when you're uh, changing your grind size, you always wanna make sure that you are grinding just because it could um, cause some clogs in your grinder. So I'm going to start grinding and we are going to grind the full shop, but we're just gonna get rid of it. There we go. So if you didn't catch that there, I stopped my grinding the same way that I started it. I just popped my portafilter over to the right a little bit and that stopped the grinding process. So our grind size now is at 24. So let's see how that affects our espresso shot. It should make it a little bit longer. Espresso shot was a little uh, short and it was pouring a little bit like molasses. So this should give us a better espresso shot. We're going to do an Americano next. I haven't gone in and set any preferences, so um, we might go through that a little bit later. We're going to go in and adjust our Americano settings. Um, so we'll enter into our menu here and we're, we'll scroll all the way over to Americano adjust. Mm -hmm. So somebody has set something on, it looks like one. So let's set something on um, number two. So I'm going to click select. And right now we're programming our espresso. So whenever I have enough espresso in here, I'm going to just click this button again and it's going to swap over to the, um, the hot water. So you'll see on the screen here, it's not really giving you any information. So you do wanna ensure that you have the proper grind setting, that your tamping pressure is correct, that all of that stuff is good because otherwise your, your screen's not going to tell you how long you're pouring for or how much espresso you're pouring. You're just eyeballing it. Or if you're using a measuring cup, that would work too. Okay, now this is saved. Our espresso did pour better that time, um, but you've got a, an Americano there, beautiful creme on top. I'm just going to fill up my water tank a little bit. It's looking a little low, and if we're gonna keep brewing, I don't wanna run out of water. We're using filtered water here. Uh, tap water is fine too, since this machine does take a water filter, but I'd highly recommend if you've not got filtered water at home to use the, the filter that comes with the machine. And remember that espresso likes minerals, so no distilled water. You wanna use tap water with the water filter or filtered water. You do have to use distilled water because you live somewhere that has really, really hard water. You can always purchase, we don't sell them here, but there are little sachets that you can purchase to put into your distilled water. Alternatively, you could use distilled water and put just a little bit of tap water in there just to give it some of the minerals, but not a ton. Okay. I love this thing. It's amazing. Doesn't work on my machine at home though. I have the 54 millimeter and this is for the 58. So Breville, you need to come out with one for the 54s. 
All right, so our, our grind size has been adjusted and now we've also set an Americano. So let's actually brew the Americano for our newly saved one. So I'm going to start grinding and grab a new mug. All right, again, perfectly tamped espresso. It's beautiful. So I'm going to adjust my Americano size. So we've got the one that was the one that was already set. Now we've got two, which is the one that we just programmed. So I'm going to press go. So to select the one that you're setting, you wanna turn your knob to get to where you wanna go and then press the knob to brew. So we're brewing our espresso. Look at that beautiful crema. Awesome. So now our Americana is ready to go. We're using today the 1.21 Colombian espresso. It's one of my favorites. Oh, that smells so good. I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls when I go home tonight. Mm. That's so smooth and so easy. Sometimes when I'm at home, my first Americano of the day, now I know we've maybe poured a couple of beverages now, but my first Americano of the day or my first espresso sometimes isn't awesome. Um, usually it's my fault. I didn't tamp properly. Maybe I was a little crooked because I'm half asleep because I haven't had coffee. The Oracle takes that away from you. It does the tamping itself. It applies the same amount of pressure over and over again. So for a multiple person household, this is a fantastic unit provided you have the space for it because it is larger. Uh, we'll have the dimensions down below and some other specs on the unit, but it is quite tall. Um, yes, but oh, fantastic, beautiful. It smells amazing, it tastes amazing. The crema is perfect. Mm. Amazing. Um, so since this machine also has this wonderful steaming wand, we are going to do some latte art with it. I mean, why not? You are able to produce a gorgeous microphone, you know, not even being a pro. And so if your goal or you want to try to learn how to do latte art, this is a great unit to do it on because you don't have to master the milk steaming. You just have to master the latte art. So it takes out half of the equation. Okay. So I'm going to grab some more milk, brew another espresso, and we'll do some latte art. Okay, we're going to brew more of a flat white or latte now. So we will, uh, let's select our milk foam level first because we are all the way at the top for cappuccino, too high. Somewhere in the middle is good for us. So I'm going to turn my knob down to auto and I'm going to press my double shot for my espresso. And now it's going to do everything for me. So we've got our beautiful, somewhere between latte to cappuccino foam. Let's see, it looks like paint. There's barely any micro bubbles in there. It's beautiful. This is what I mean about getting the microphone without um, doing any of the work. It did it all for you or for us. And now we just have to try to make latte art. So. There's no latte art. I'm having an off latte art day. However, this is milk that you can get latte art with. 
So the Oracle is great for somebody that wants to be a barista at home, but maybe doesn't want to have to deal with tamping it yourself, having the mess on the countertops, learning how to steam milk, but you still want the experience of making your own espresso and making your own lattes and not pressing a button and having it do everything for you. This machine will just do some things for you. It's also really great for people that are um, have multiple different coffee drinkers in the house. So you have people that drink just espresso. This will produce a beautiful just espresso. You have people that drink cappuccino. Obviously, this will produce a fabulous cappuccino and Americano as well. At the press of a button, it'll do Americano, cappuccino, espresso. You just do a tiny bit of work. Like I said, it is a bigger machine. So if you're looking into this unit, just make sure you have that space there. Um, this machine does have a two year warranty through Breville. So nice long warranty for you there. Overall, this is a fantastic machine. It's reliable. It's got that awesome dual boiler for a stable and consistent temperature. It's beautiful as well. I personally really like the look of it. You have a 58 millimeter porta filter, which um, as you know from the other Breville lineups, most of them are 54. So you do get a better espresso pulling from a 58. It's wider uh, coffee and espresso distribution. This machine would be awesome for somebody that wants to do a little bit of the work, but not all of it, and still wants to get that latte art. This is definitely for the, for the latte art people. I personally really like this machine. This would be a machine I would take home myself. Um, it does much better microfoam than a super automatic, but it still has those automatic features that the super automatics provide you with. The consistent espresso and the milk at a touch of a button. You just have to put the milk into the jug and press the button and it does everything else for you. It also makes a nicer espresso than um, some of the super automatics as well. With the 58 millimeter, you are dosing more. So you have more coffee in your porta filter. You're going to have a stronger, um, espresso, more flavorful, beautiful crema. And I love that it times it by seconds as well. I, I am a seconds person over a uh, dial. If you liked this video and you wanna see more of our content, make sure that you give us a follow on YouTube, but also on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. We'll link those all down below. Remember to uh, give us a thumbs up and like this video if you liked us, and leave us a comment down below as well. Thanks for watching.